Hello again. I'm back with a new book. This one um, it probably does have a home. I was asked by somebody to make one similar to a book I've made before. Um, so it's similar colours in the same kit I've used but it will be quite different because most of the bits and pieces that I've saved over the years um, that I'm using in my books are basically one-off bits like the old book covers, the fabrics. I may only have one piece um, of what ends up in a book and I use lots of sort of old jewellery and stuff like that so it's going to be very difficult to make something exactly the same as I've made before. I don't think I'd want to make them exactly the same either. Um, so this is similar colours, so it's the, the red, the blue and the same kit by uh, Whimsical Adventure, the um, Knights and Ladies kit. Um, I've also added in here though there's some, um, is it Medieval Mirage? Um, some of her kits in here as well. So um, I've mixed the two together but it's along the same lines with colour and things but I'm... Um, I went with the uh, quite a lot of embossing in this one, uh, embossing the die cuts, which has been great fun. So I've really enjoyed that. So yes, yeah, so I'll just get started. So it's the same idea that I, I like to do this um, sort of layer of fabric using that as the spine. Um, this is a vintage uh, tablecloth or napkin, I think, that had this lovely cross stitch rose on it and add the blue and the red, so it's perfect. I've used that on the spine, um, along with some vintage buttons. This is a mother of pearl um, button as well. This one's glass and uh, some wee beads and seeds, sort of seed pearls throughout as well. <clears throat> so this um, net as well, I'm just obsessed with it. Um, I just love it, it's so soft. I've also used the Tim Holtz uh, little roses on here, I followed a tutorial that uh, Shabby Soul did um, using alcohol inks and to make them blue to match the book. So love how they've turned out. And I also um, brushed them with some uh, gilding wax to uh, give them a sort of gold sheen as well. And I just love how they, they worked. So it's just a bit of sari silk with some gold dangles as a closure. that out the way and check them in frame. So um, very fluffy, um, it's got lots of nice bits of lace and um, most of it's vintage and um, except the net but I've mixed the net in as well because it just it goes really nice with with the, uh, the theme. So on the inside here we have a little pocket and I've, been, I've used gold throughout this one obviously because it's the red and the blue and the gold go perfectly together. So lots of wee layers of vintage lace and the sh most of the buttons throughout are shell. Um, Cause I've got quite a few of vintage shell buttons, so it's lovely. So we've got a big tag here to start and, I've, and all the sort of um, embellishments that I've done on the tag, I've sort of brought round, um, which I quite like. And we've got a rose up here. Oh yeah, I've used the Mrs. Cog's kit for, oh, is it Lancelot? I think it's Lancelot. I'll have to double check um, and I will put them in the description box below, but I've used all the, the wee cards um, for that because they went um, with it perfectly as well. So lots of little collages, again, using embossed die cuts and seed pearls. Some vintage lace. Um, I've also done decoupage of um, the same napkin I used in the previous book and it uh, it's perfect colours for this as well. So we've got another wee pocket here. So the these are from the Medieval Mirage kit. So these little tags, I've just put a little bit of fabric on them. And I did some... These are wax seals that I just sort of, I made them on a baking sheet, like the silicone baking sheet. So they come off of that, no bother. You can just peel them off and then I've stuck them in the book. I've got another wee dangle here. Another wee collage here. So 
So these are bits from the Whimsical Adventure Kit. And another lovely blue goes perfectly. And another wee shell button. I've also done some decoupage with another napkin I got recently and it's really it's really pale so once it's um, it's on the page and um, it just blends away lovely but you get such a nice effect. I'm hoping you can see that it sort of uh, blends away lovely but it looks really good. The ties in the middle of all the signatures which are there's four signatures are glass um, and I love these ones in that they look they look quite old, so I thought they, uh, they match this theme quite nice as well. Done a couple of tippins with this lovely handmade paper that again has got the gold on it. And we've got a wee envelope here, it just folds out for writing. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I've got so croaky all of a sudden. I was absolutely fine a minute ago. I've used a little bit of stamping with the it's a red, because um, I very rarely use it, so it's the Archival Ink Plum, and it's just added a nice wee bit of red um, along with the colours, a little bit more decoupage here. This is the Whimsical Adventure Kit, all the pages are. So another wee pocket here, and so we've got another little tag in the front, um, the big tag at the back and some more die cuts and just various layers of paper that I've added there. And these are all just journaling cards here. And this is the poppy from a Whimsical Adventure kit. Um, I love Anya's kits because she gives you lots of little bits that you can cut out. Um, so I really like that. And I've got a key here. Again, the glass beads, a little collage here. Again, lots of writing space. I like to leave plenty of writing space in my books. Another wee tip in of that lovely um, handmade paper. So we've got a wee envelope here, which I've just done a little bit of layering with some lace and it's got the matching um, journaling card inside and all I've done with the um, I started using these blue um, paper clips but I'm not convinced I might change them to gold because as I've been going through the book checking and adding little bits and pieces I'm not convinced by the blue I thought it went really nice with all the blue I've had in it but I think gold would be nicer um, I don't know if you can see it as I'm turning the pages or if you can see it here on the envelope, but I've gone round all the edges of the tags, the pages. I've gone round them with a gilding wax. So there is um, gold along the edges of everything. I think it gives it a nice finish. Another wee collage here. Another pocket with a tag here. I think that's my favourite image out of this kit from Mrs Coggs. Love that one. Another wee pocket here and another wee key on there. More beads here. The decoupage napkin, it's got, um, I use the technique um, that uh, Artie Mays um, showed in her videos, Andrea showed in her videos where um, so I'm not too bothered about wrinkles and things and then I just sand them so you do get a sort of texture to your decoupage which I like um, but they are smooth and you can write over the top of them because I gesso back over the top so it's not the mod podge there's a layer of gesso on top so you can write over the top oh I need to put something on that Another wee tag here and another um, wax seal there. And another wee gold dangle. I think I've done most of Oh no, we're okay. I thought I was too low down there. Um, another wee picture here. And that's another one of those envelopes. The same as the start with the seal on it. 
I've got another envelope here um, again with the matching card inside and this is a little shell button that's on that one that I'll tuck here I love this image and another wee pocket here and we're at the back so there's a couple of wee bells on this tag again I've brought the images round onto the back and another wee pocket here and so again I don't know if you can see but there's gold around all the edges of the cover as well to bring out this um, embossed image on the book itself so there we go um, if anybody's got any questions on them um, if they've got any questions about any techniques I've used in the book please feel free to um, pop them in the comments below. I'm quite happy to point you in the right direction of whatever I've used or what video um, I've uh, watched that learned that technique from. I, um, I've had a few people ask about whether I would do tutorials. Everything I'm doing in these books I've learned from somebody else or I've taken a course. A lot of the way I use my fabrics and things are from courses by Nelly Wartman. So um, I, I wouldn't remember what I've sort of paid for and what, um, oops, sorry. Um, what not and stuff like that and plus the tutorials I learned from are far better than anything I could do so I'm happy to point people in the right direction of where I learned a certain technique um, if I can or what course I took or anything like that so please uh, feel free to um, ask me in the comments if you want to so um, so like I say this probably has a home and if anything changes um, it'll just appear in my shop so if anybody's interested just keep an eye out um i've got two journals coming um that are sort of similar but not they're completely different kits but are, they're on the along the same lines um so i should have them out quite soon as well so um hope everybody's safe and um i'll leave you for now thank you very much for watching